So this is the big one. OpenAI did the Dev Day and they announced a whole bunch of stuff and uh, integration of apps like Canva and Expedia, uh, a new version of uh, Codex. Um, jeepers, creepers. This is huge. What do you take away from all of this great stuff that OpenAI dropped? Okay, so we are Microsoft devs and generally speaking, we use the um, sort of semantic kernel and autogen uh frameworks for our agents, but now we have a direct competitor with the agents SDK from OpenAI, which is pretty cool to see. Um, we've also got the N8N competitor, which I think is called the agent kit, uh, mm -hmm. which looks really cool. It is OpenAI specific. You can't choose different models, um, but also, I mean, this thing just came out, right? So they may uh, allow that later. But the UX looks really nice now. I've seen a few videos for it. I, want, I can't wait to give it a try. ChatGPT want everybody on their platform. They're nearly topping 800 million active users. And uh, a lot of uh, big companies are eyeing OpenAI's sort of uh, direct connection with the user. And I think that they're going to go after that retail market, whereas N8N is probably a little bit more in the expert field. And I think that they are just going to be everywhere in the uh, retail market and they're going to have buying uh, uh, these little workflows and you'll be able to sort of talk it without knowing any software. I think it's uh, showing where OpenAI are going. What do you think? Yeah, it's going to be a big year. Yeah, and the payment platform means that you can now talk to, well, the, the vision is that you will be able to now talk to your open AI app and say, hey, book me the best flights to Bali, and it will actually do it, and it'll be able to pay for it in the platform as long as you give it the, the uh, um, uh, ability to do so. That's where they're going with this thing. Need help with AI solutions? Click on the channel link and follow the link tree.